everybody, welcome to Monday's live stream. Today is May the 20th. So I'm going to apologize in advance if my throat gets scratchy or if my voice cuts out. Um, I am just starting in on a cold that my lovely son gave to me, so. Hi Beth, hi Art Life. Hi Jody. Hi Nick and Tina. Nick and Tina, are you guys still gonna stream tonight or did that change? Hi Kenny. Stitch, scratching at the floor is not gonna make your water do anything. Jeez, dude. I also apologize for the cats in advance, too, because they are just insane this morning. It must be the weather. I have no idea, but they're just, they're crazy. Okay, I'll try to make it. If you're early, I might not, but hopefully I'll be able to catch the end. We've got to go pick up our little one later, and then I think we're doing supper at the mother-in-law's. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Susie. I hope you're all doing well on this wonderful Monday. Wonderful being sarcasm for me, because like I said, I'm just starting to get sick, so. It's always fun, isn't it? <laughs> me go. Hey, no, no eating my books. It's not that. No books for you. You have your choice. You're crazy. Hi, Gia. Hi, Sharon. Oh, thank you, Beth. So while we're welcoming everybody in, I am going to just flip through this because I've been flipping through it for like the last hour and I cannot pick a page for the life of me. Um, as some of you know, this book was gifted to me by Kylara and she is just absolutely wonderful and she's been impatiently waiting, or should I say patiently waiting, for me to start in this and I just, I, I want to start but I don't know what page to do. That doesn't help that there's like a thousand of them. You are loud, you know that. You just find everything to play with. <laughs> well, that narrows it down to like 500 pages. I'm kidding, there's not quite that many, but... I wouldn't want to count and see how many there is either, because there is quite a few. Let's see, no one with a coconut bra. Maybe there isn't very many with those. Let's see here. Hi, Cajun. Hi, Kim. I think there might only be one page with that, and I think that's the one that Sammy did, isn't it? Could be wrong. Okay, let's start over. Hi, Kylara! <laughs> I'm definitely not doing any of my favorite pages. We could do this one. Let's do this one. Oh, and here I go, breaking the spine. Oh, I hate doing that. That makes me cringe. <laughs> there you go, Jody. There's there's three gnomes with coconut bras. So even better, right? Okay, so anybody who has this book, 
Um, I know pencils work good. What about watercolors, water mediums? How do those react? Oh no, Beth. <laughs> any, I, I was just going to say, does anybody really like breaking the spines of their books? But yeah, there's you and then there's Dee Dee. She just dives right on in there too and I'm like, I cringe every time. It's not even my book and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Hi, Becky. <clears throat> Okay, kitties, I'm gonna trip on you. <clears throat> okay. I suppose we could at least try with watercolors and see, anyways. Because I'm thinking pretty much whole background minus this would be pretty cool to do with some kind of watercolor medium so I'm thinking neos because those are my usual go-to these days so let's try those I was waiting for you to pop up. I knew you'd be here as soon as you seen the thumbnail. I think this might be one of those days where I actually finish my tea before it gets cold. Because, oh man, my throat is burning. Okay, thanks Gia. That's good to know. I'm always nervous using watercolor, but I mean, I'm working on mine and B's buddy color, which is in one of the Kirby books, and that paper does not take watercolor as well as I had hoped, but I made it work, so hopefully we could do the same here. So see, I'm just going to grab out some colors. I definitely want to keep the sky light. I'm going to let you guys choose, because the sky will probably be, actually no, I lied, I'm not going to let you guys choose. Because I just changed my mind. We're going to use, we're going to do kind of like a, what is it called? Oh my goodness, my mind is blanking so hard right now. Sunrise. We're going to do a sunrise sky. <laughs> Which means I think we're going to do the water as like a minty, greeny, blue. <clears throat> Wait, how do you have Becky on TV? Is Becky streaming right now? Did I cut her off? I'm confused. <laughs> Sorry, just catching up the chat. <clears throat> Well, you know, in group chat, somebody else was, you know, in two streams at once, so why not? <laughs> I'm always at two streams, usually, as long as I've got my computer up and running. But then I get really distracted and annoyed because I want to hear everything. So if I've got two streams going, I get so distracted and overwhelmed. I, just, I don't know how you guys do it. I can't. I cannot do it. just like oh what'd she say okay now what'd she say I want to talk here and then I got somebody talking to me over here and it's just it's not good okay so just pulling up colors for the sky first I think we definitely want some yellow in there but nothing bright so I don't know the colors that I have out so far I've got the lemon yellow I've got the orangish yellow Got salmon, pink, a 
and then I've also got the light blue and the turquoise blue. And I think I'm going to stick with those. <clears throat> Me neither, Jody. I have I get into that point where I'll try, I'll try and watch, and then it's like, nope, okay. I gotta pick one and then watch back the other one later. So then I'll usually just go with whoever is coloring something that I'm more interested in, and then I'll watch back the other one. Okay, so I do need paper here though. And maybe to zoom in. Okay, and then we'll get started. I'm going to be fighting with the spine of this book for a while. So, I'm not really going to use any reference pictures. I think I'm just going to dive right on in. So I'm going to start off with the light blue. If anybody was wanting to follow along with this, you wouldn't have to use neos. You could use pencils or any other kind of water medium that you have. Play nice, kitties. And our lighting might go off and on because, as most of you know, the lighting is the sun, which it's cloudy today, so. Me too, Gia. Even if I don't watch the stream, I'll try and go over and give a thumbs up at least. I do, Kai. This book is gorgeous. I'm happy to finally be starting in it instead of just flipping through. Because I get, I want to like color every single page, especially my favorites, but those ones I probably won't color for a while because they're my favorite, which makes no sense. <laughs> oh my goodness, is it very cloudy? Okay, I think that's a flower there. I'm also not going to make the sky even at all. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna completely let loose on this page and just go with how I feel and we'll see how it turns out. That's okay, Beth, look away, hon. <laughs> Tinkle. <laughs> you can tell Becky is surrounded by boys. Oh, Jody, that's awesome. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> no, Jenny. And hi, by the way, I'm just starting on a cold. My wonderful little boy decided that I needed his cold. So, yeah. Actually, it's probably my fault because even though he's sick, I just I have to kiss him. He's my baby. So I probably brought it on myself. <laughs> But I'll, I'll still blame him, just because I can. Especially because he blames me for ruining his life. He is five years old, and I just got the first, you ruined my life, yesterday. He's very dramatic. <laughs> it was cute, though. I laughed. He did not like that. It made him very mad. <laughs> Isn't it, Kenny? Oh my goodness. I'm in love with every page. I really don't think that there is a page in this book that I don't like. However, there are some that I find seriously overwhelming because of the amount of tiny detail, but I love every page. If there weren't, weren't so many darn pages, I'd say that I would probably finish this book, but who knows. <laughs> I will 
definitely be coloring in it a lot, that's for sure. But I can't say whether or not I'm going to finish it in the near future anyways. I don't really know what to do about this spine either. It's kind of kind of tricky. don't know what everything is. Okay. I'm going to creep through chat since I'm kind of uh, in the zone here. Oh, I don't, how can you tell? I don't think this one's stitched. I think it's glue bound, but I don't know. There's so many pages in it that you can't really see. Hi, Rochelle. Sorry, I missed you on. Yeah, Gia, you gotta be careful with those glue bound ones. Yeah, I'm excited for him to get older and not at the same time because I know this is only the beginning. Hi, Connie. Oh, Jody, that's cute. <laughs> so how can you even be offended when they say things like that because they're so adorable? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Thanks for popping in, hun. Hope you're doing well. I definitely agree, Kai. That's what I was thinking, that this book was a little bit expensive. But then once you sent it to me and I seen how many pages were actually in it, I was like, okay, yeah, that's definitely worth it, isn't it? I don't think I'm going to worry about coloring right into the spine. I will do what I can see. And then I'll probably just do that this way. Because you know what? With the way the page sits, that's pretty much all you can see anyways. So not going to stress about it. Okay, so next I'm going to switch off to the turquoise blue. Which I'm not being very neat with this. I'm just going to kind of messily go in kind of over top of that other blue and, and well pretty much everywhere. I'm going to go over top slightly and then just kind of bring it out. The nice thing about the nail colors is you don't really have to be too careful when laying them down. You don't really have to worry about blending them because you can always do that with your brush when you activate them. So that is always nice. And again I'm trying to avoid having everything just completely horizontal. I don't want it all to match. I want it to look different. I also love that this is not double-sided. Especially with how close we got to get into the spine here. So if I get color on the other page, it does not matter. Okay, chill out, feisty pants. Goodness, if the baby's bugging you, go where she can't reach you. Oh my goodness. He will not put her in his in her place. He just runs away from her. Not me. Every day is a Monday for me, so I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> okay. 
It's been pretty hectic because Rain's puppy isn't doing very well. He's doing a little bit better now, but he went like a week with hardly eating anything. So now he's on just a bland diet. Right now it's chicken and rice. Tried feeding him carrots and apples, and I guess he looked at Rain like, do I look like a rabbit to you? <laughs> he's, he was not impressed, so he did not eat those. But he is eating at least, but he has cancer, and he's kind of crashing from it a little bit. We're hoping to revive him and get him comfortable at least, because... I know nobody's ever ready, but Rain is especially not ready to let go. And just getting a little glimpse into how it's going to be when he's gone, I am not excited for it. Yes, meow to you too. Okay, bye Rochelle! Thanks, Kenny. It sucks, but it's not really much you can do. Okay, I'm not really sure how to layer these colors here. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Go. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I just love having your butt in my face. <laughs> Camera's gonna shake. Miss Lulu's on the shelf. Oh. Goodness, you scared me. this morning. What is with you? <laughs> yeah. Would it be a stream without Lilo here? I don't think so. Okay. Just don't know if I want to use the salmon or the pink now to blend from the blue into the pink. I think I am because it's lighter. So I'm going to switch to salmon now. Same thing, I'm going to kind of lightly bring this in over top of the blues. And again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just coloring. Just go in with it. <laughs> I seen that Gia. I showed Rain that and he's like, oh my goodness. And he's like, you would get that, wouldn't you? I was like, oh, totally. Can you stop biting? Miko, Miko, hey, shh, shh, shh. stop biting the bowl. If you dump that over, I'm gonna be mad. You brat. She literally, she tries to tip over the water dish on purpose. I've caught her a couple times now. Bad kitty. Brat. Hi, Candy. Anybody else I've missed? Anyone lurking? Thanks for being here. Oh, that's awesome, Jody. Hopefully the first of many. <laughs> yeah, cat butts is probably like a personal preference. I just think it would be funny. I would color them and then I would give them to my family as like cards. Happy birthday, here's a cat butt. Happy birthday, Candy. Hi, Peppers. You're not doing this today, turkey. You know, play with the baby. It's one thing I'm super happy about getting Miko because 
you know, Lilo absolutely loves her. She has that kind of mom mentality, so she loves having the baby to take care of and cuddle with. But at the same time, she doesn't cuddle with me as much anymore, so it's like Nico stole her from me, so kind of sad. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Joy. I'll have to try that. Although we do have one of the shallow Tupperware containers in the kitchen, and they don't seem to drink from that one very often. They've got water all over the place, actually. I think around the house they've got five different bowls that they can go drink from. <laughs> and then Stitch, on the other hand, though, he's my prissy one. He will wait until somebody passes by the bathroom and then meow and jump on the counter and he wants a little bit of water in the sink and he'll drink from the sink. So I think it's more the running water thing they're after. I want to get one of those water bowls that have like the little fountain thing in them so that way the water is constantly moving. I think they would like that. I was thinking Lilo and Stitch's birthdays are this summer, so I might save up for that. They're not very expensive. I think they're only like $30. But... <laughs> yeah, me trying to tell her she's not doing something is just like talking to a wall. Hi, son. Good morning. <clears throat> Happy Monday to you too, hun. Okay, I did have the pink out, but I'm thinking I'm going to skip that color. So I'm going to go straight to the orangish yellow, I think. And I'm going to start underneath the, um, what color is that? The salmon pink? Salmon. Yeah, I'm going to start underneath the salmon because I think I'm going to bring a little bit more of that salmon in since I'm not going to use the pink now. Victoria, mine surprisingly don't. Although I do have these brushes, which I used to keep in my little mason jar holders on top of my shelf. But I've had to move them because Miss Miko comes and steals them all the time and then she knocks over my pens and pencils, and I just had enough of it, so now I move them. I love watching videos of that though, because I know cats do it. My old cats used to, but none of my cats now do that, which is strange now that I think about that. As always, guys, if you have something that uh, you want to say towards me that you don't want me to miss, um, try and put it in caps. I'm not going to think that you're yelling at me, but it just helps. Since the chat tends to move quickly sometimes, so... I'm definitely going to be coloring everything close to the spine first, I think. of the mermaid book. I know this was one that I really wanted, but I've never I haven't really looked at the others. Bye Lisa. You 
you guys. I'm gonna close the door on you. <laughs> that is cute. Okay, I'm switching back to the salmon here. I get that thing where you sneeze and then the cats will like... They'll do that thing where they go into like pounce mode with those like super wide eyes. And then they, they stare at you and then run away like you've like scared the crap out of them. <laughs> I absolutely love when they do that. It's hilarious. Or same with when they get go into like complete defense mode and their tails fluff up. Miko looks adorable with a fluff tail. It's too funny. <laughs> we have I have the kennel in the art room. Um if any of you have watched my previous um, art room tour video, uh, you'd have seen the kennel in there. I'd taken it out because after we got Lilo, I didn't really have a need for it. But the little one is still little to the point where I don't really trust her in the art room by herself at night because she'll get into everything. So she gets put in the kennel at night for now until she gets a little bit older and loses her spunkiness. <laughs> Once I can start to trust her, I'll take her out of the kennel, or once I start realizing that she's probably never going to lose that little attitude, then I'll keep her out of there. <laughs> Hi, Katie! <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch to the lemon yellow. Lilo, do you have to use her litter box? You guys have two. And you always use hers. My goodness. I swear, they're worse than kids sometimes. What are you doing? Lilo? What are you doing? Hold on, guys. <laughs> Come here. That's not a place to lay down. What are you doing? You're such a girl. <laughs> Come here. You want to lay down? I don't a chair. I thought she was going to use Miko's litter box. She just went and laid in it. I've never seen her do that. You're a strange kitty. Yeah, I think she's got that tortitude, and it's probably never going to go away. <laughs> um, surprisingly, no. Uh, Lilo loved the kennel. Because we kept her in there when we first got her, just because Stitch was just a little bit too at her, and she didn't really like that. So I didn't really want to leave them in the same room and have them fight it out, so I had to find a way to separate them. So... But we adopted her from the animal shelter, so she was kind of used to being in a kennel. So I think before I put the kennel in here, she seemed very anxious, and then I got the idea to use the kennel, and then she would go, and if she wanted to be alone, she would go and run into it, and she'd just hide out in there. It was kind of her safe place. Um, Miko tolerates it. I thought that she would cry her first night in the kennel, but she actually didn't. She made it through the whole night without crying. She gets agitated in the morning when it's time to let her out, then she's like, let me out of here. But I think it helps since the big cats are still with her in the room. So I've gotten pretty lucky, but for the most part you can kennel train any animal. And I'm getting to where I'm looking forward to when she doesn't need it anymore, because it takes up a lot of space. <laughs> When I first started using it, it was also because she was so tiny, I didn't really trust Lilo and Stitch with her yet, because they were still kind of working out, you know, who was in charge. Hi, Here Be Dragons! Hi, Charlotte! Sorry, sorry, I didn't realize that my chat was frozen here. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, Cajun. I'm hoping that Walmart puts it in. 
it'll be either next month or the month after if they do. If not, I'm going to be sad, but oh well. Thanks, Janny. Me too. I'm excited to now activate them. That's always the funnest part. I'm just going to grab a water brush and then a blotting paper. Channel in book, Cajun. Okay, so I think I'm going to start in the lighter areas and just kind of work my way up. Oh, these are like a dream on this paper. I'm already liking this. about the nail colors is we can also kind of drag the color into the spine a little bit too. Are you done yet? My goodness. Alright guys, I will check chat as soon as I get a chance to. Okay, that's enough you two. Oh, I think this is the first time I've ever heard Miko piss Lilo off. Hey. No, 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 she's done playing. You be nice. Okay, Miko, if she beats you up, I'm not going to save you. They do work really well in these books, and same with the um, uh, the Derwent ink pens. But I find that pan watercolors, where you need a little bit more water, they do not work very well in his books. <laughs> yes, yeah, song they're they're busy terrorizing the entire house. <laughs> nope, not mine, Jenny. Mine are trained not to be. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even really sure what they do in here at night. I'm pretty sure they just hang out, but I have lazy cats. Even during the day, all they do is lay around. They do get those, those little spurts of energy ever since Nico was introduced into the house. Lilo especially, she's just like a little kitten again. She just loves it. 
But yeah, they'll play for probably like another half hour to an hour, and then it'll be nap time for both of them. <laughs> and then they'll usually end up cuddling together somewhere. I will squirt you with the bottle. Stop that. Hi, Beth. No, that's okay, hon. Don't be sorry. Nico. Oh, kitties. No, no, no. No. Where's your mouse? Oh, Lordy. I don't know what I'm going to do with these cats. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I'd rather them do it at this time of day than at night when we're all trying to sleep, right? So I think it's worth it. <laughs> They're usually not this hyperactive, though. But ever since last night, they were like this as well, too, right before bed. They always burn off energy before bed. I swear they know. They know when I'm going to put them in the room. So they are just running up and down the halls. And they were probably about this crazy, too. And then I usually wait until they lay down. Miss Lilo was sleeping on her cat tree, and then Nico came and crawled into bed with me. So at that point, I knew they were ready to be put away for the night. And Stitch, he's just always laying somewhere. He's my lazy cat. Yeah, last night and apparently this morning, they've just got energy to burn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it very well could be. It's gotta be something. Rain asked me last night when he came in the house, he's like, what did you give these cats? It's like, nothing, I swear. Miko! Stop with the cords. Oh, she's bad. You are gonna electrocute yourself one day, cat. Stop that. No, don't you purr at me. No. Go play. Thanks, Cajun. It definitely helps with the colors, though. And when I'm done, I will put it closer to the camera, because the camera makes it look a lot nicer than it actually is. It's not as smooth as it looks. I promise you that. Going from the pink into the blue, though, that's the tricky part I'm noticing. It does muddy up the color a little bit.
right, Jacqueline. <laughs> it's good that she does it right before you go to bed, though, Jody. I left the cats out one night. Carvin went to bed really late, and oh man, I was so mad at them. It was just Lilo and Stitch at the time, but they decided to run across Carvin's bed and they scratched his cheek up so bad. Oh, I was livid. And that was one night that Boom stayed out in the garage. I can't remember why. But I was like, okay, maybe I'll let the cats stay out this night and not put them in the art room. Yeah, I regretted that, so. Oh, thanks, Jenny. So when we get up close and personal, my camera wants to focus here. Now the camera is still making it look a lot smoother than it is, but it's not that smooth. Thankfully though, with the way that the water or the strokes from the water brush goes, it makes it look like it's just kind of cloudy, which works. Sabrina, my guru, how are you, sweetheart? Hopefully everything's going well. It's been way too long since we talked last. Hopefully things are going good for you. Oh, thanks, Beth. <laughs> Oops, we're gonna move this part up here. Yeah, I forgot that. So, who all is excited to find out about this huge project that Becky has up her sleeve that I got drug into? No, I'm kidding. I, I said I would. <laughs> um, this color here, this is the salmon. I'm doing good, hon. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Okay, thanks for stopping in, Jenny. Have a wonderful day, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, but teasing is the fun part. I have to tell you, though, I'm nervous for it. But then again, I'm nervous about everything. Oh my goodness, guys, this, to some of you, this is like a whatever kind of feat. It's like... Pretty simple, but I went through the drive-thru yesterday. I drove through the drive-thru. Quite proud of myself. I've never done that before. <laughs> Why are you guys in the closet? How do you... My cats are so smart to the point where it's not a good thing. They know how to open my closet which is also where I keep their cat food. I'm trying to put them on a diet because they're both very big. <laughs> and apparently they have other ideas. <laughs> Thanks. It actually wasn't too bad. I don't know why I was so nervous. So I think what I'm going to do, yeah, is the little baby in there? Yeah, she crawled in there, didn't she? Not a play place. You stay out of the closet. There's way too much stuff in there for you. Yeah. 
Okay, so I know Karen Dash has those boards. I think they're called like aquarel boards or something maybe. But I've just got this uh, cutting mat that I use. So I'm going to take the salmon and you guys probably can't really see it. But I'm going to put some on there. And then I'm just going to bring some of that into the image. Just try and blend this part out a little bit better here. Just so it's not quite so rough. <laughs> Aren't they, Charlotte? They are too smart. <laughs> oh, thanks, Beth. Yeah, that makes me feel better because they are scary. <laughs> That's cute, Cajun. Hi, Heather. You know, I actually had a cat that trained himself to use the toilet. I wish I'd gotten pictures because, you know, we told my mom, it was me and my brother that caught him doing this. We were like, what the heck? We were just like amazed. And of course we told my mom and she didn't believe us. To this day, she still doesn't believe us. And do you think that cat would do it when she was home? Nope. You do need this book. You also need to start coloring it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm a little bit happier with that now. <laughs> did she train the cat or did the cat just start using the toilet didn't even right now they're both in the kennel they're playing I actually had somebody message me I think it was last month when I was talking about the kennel saying that cats should not be kenneled and that I'm cruel for doing that I just kind of had to laugh. I'm like, okay. So, I'm gonna find my color combo book. I'm quickly gonna write these colors down. Anybody wondering the colors that we've used here were light blue and again this is in the neo colors turquoise blue salmon Orangish yellow, and lemon yellow. How did you get in? How do you get in these places? Good, I'm 
I'm glad to hear that you're coloring again. It's been way too long. No, Beth, this is actually the first picture that I've colored in this book um, since Kai sent it to me because she's absolutely amazing. Um, I wanted to do the first page on stream and she's been wanting me to do one as well. So other than that, I've just been petting it and flipping through it. And now we're finally diving in. <laughs> Aw, oh, thanks, Kai. Thanks, Jody. <clears throat> okay, that tea is not for you, and I'm gonna be really mad if you knock that over. Can you stop climbing on everything? You're not a mountain lion. Get out of here. I think she's getting a little bit closer to her nap time. <laughs> Thanks, Connie. Okay. So for the bush now, I'm going to grab out the yellow-green for sure, because I do want parts of it to be light, but I also want it to be kind of dark as well. Because it'll make that sky really pop out. So let's also grab the grass green and maybe... Maybe the dark green. We'll go with those three. Jody's lying. She just loves spelling my name. <laughs> Sorry, camera's gonna shake. Miss Lilo's hiding from the baby. Is she bugging you? You poor thing. You're just breathing so hard. You gotta take it easy on her. Brad, where did you go? Oh yeah, you're coming up the bugger again, aren't you? Come here. Me go. Come here, Brad. Make you sneeze. <laughs> oh, now you're going to lay down, are you? No, 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 no. You already put, she bit through my um, Mythomorphia book. She bit through four pages just with like one quick little bite. She came out of nowhere. She's like a little shark. Stop that. <laughs> I always get asked this. Legally, it is one E. My name legally is spelled S-K-Y-E. But with two E's, that's my artist's alter ego. And the reason I did that is because I had two Facebooks. So I wanted to differentiate between the two, and then it just kind of stuck. So you can spell it whichever way you want. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Ow! That's my fingers. Isn't she? She is a brat, and she's, she's attacking her tail right now. She loves her tail and hates it at the same time. <laughs> Who's that? Was that your daddy? Distraction. She seen dad. Oh, that's good. You'll have to show me some. Where are you going? You know, if you're going into sleep mode, I'm going to have to move you. Oh, 
Oh, you just attack everything. <laughs> she is Charlotte. She's a beautiful cat. She's also very mischievous. Here. Oops, stop that. I'm going to take you guys for a ride here for a minute. We're a little bit zoomed in, but. Hi, baby. And she's singing. <laughs> Yeah, Jody is 100% right there. They look so cute because it's a trick to get you to own one. And then it's like, oh my goodness, what did I sign up for? <laughs> I was on the phone with my mom yesterday. I think last night. And then Miss Miko comes up and she's just laid right on my chest and she just, she has this thing with smelling my phone, but she was purring and my mom, for, she's like, immediately, she's like, what is that sound? She's like, it's so loud. I was like, that's Miko. <laughs> Can you stop eating my pencil case? Oh my goodness. She is a force to be reckoned with, that's for sure. Okay, I think I'm just going to base this entire bush with the yellow green and then I'll come in and just throw some other colors in. Yep, she does, doesn't she, Beth? Stop with the Neos. <laughs> oh, goodness, kitty cat. my sweater. Let go. Let go. Yeah, I definitely agree, and pretty much every Calico or Torty or even Torby cat owner will tell you the same thing. And of course, I didn't listen either, because my cousin actually has a tortoiseshell cat, too. Um, she is... A brat. And what's kind of cool, I completely forgot about this when I named Miko, but her cat's name is Miko with an N. So, very similar names, but hers is a long haired, and Miss Miko here is short hair. Bye, Connie. Oh, you brat. Stop that. You are lucky you didn't put a hole in that.
No, I don't. I have the 40 set. I was going to save up for the 80 set, but I wanted them so bad, and I just couldn't get the entire set at the time. So I figured 40 should be good, and then you can always mix colors too, so... I was a little bit too impatient, but I'm happy with these ones. If I could find somewhere to buy them open stock, though, if anybody knows, that would be awesome, because I would love to add. <laughs> Is Lilo's going to lay down? Are you going to lay down with her? Yeah, right, you still got energy. I don't know from where, but you do. Don't bite my paper. Nico, stop that. Careful. You missed my answer, Beth, or someone else? Yeah, sure, I'd love to be tagged. That way I actually see it. Because I feel like I miss a lot if I don't get tagged because I feel like whatever they use for putting things on your storyline on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, it just doesn't work. I see a lot of stuff that I don't really care for and then everything that I want to see just never shows up. Okay, I'm going to come in with the grass green and I think I'm just going to randomly kind of patch this in. I am going to go back over top with uh, Prismas after, so I'm not too worried. But I do just want to get a little bit of just variation. And again, because I don't want this bush to be too light. And I think at the top, I'm actually going to use this pretty much all along the bush at the top. Are you gonna play with my my pens? Oh, um I oh, <laughs> oh kitty, you're gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> I have the 40 set of Neo Colors, Beth. I was going to get the uh save up for the full set, but I was a little bit too impatient and I wanted them so bad that I just grabbed them. Hello. What would you like? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, changed your mind. See you later. She's like, I want to crawl on your lap. And then she's like, nope. I don't think they ship to Canada though. I could be wrong. Maybe it was a different website. I'll have to look. Okay, I'll have to look at Desiree's then, which I would be getting online because it's like six hours away from me. Yeah, I think the set less would be 40. Do they have a 42? That's about the 40 set. Uh, I don't know. That's a tough question. Um, I feel like I'm good with these colors. I don't wish I'd have saved. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the colors that I want open stock. And then... Because I know even if you get the 84 set, you don't actually have all of them. 
because they have like the seasonal ones, which I'm not sure if those are only out for a limited time or if you can get them at any time. But I know they've got those ones. And then I think, I want to say there's like 184 colors in total. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if there is Cajun. We should make one. We should put a bug in Sammy's ear because she's like super organized and I feel like she'd be really good for that. <laughs> I know she has quite a few birthdays listed down, but I don't know if there's a place you can go to find them or if she has all of them. All I could give you is my birthday. That's all I know for sure. <laughs> Oops. No. Um, my birthday is October 12th. This is a book I might be getting spiral bound. Thanks, Becky. Oh, Gia, that's awesome. Yours is the 24th this month? Okay, you're gonna switch to dark green. Which I think I'm just gonna focus this kind of closer to these patches. But maybe coming in from in, in behind people and then at the bottom. Oh, of October. Gotcha. That's cool. You are two days after rain. I'm on the 12th. He's 10 days after me, so he's the 22nd. Both my boys are 22s. His carbons is February 22nd. And then I always find it's kind of interesting how birthdays work, because mine and my brother's, um, mine's October 12th, he's May 12th. And then my mom and my sisters, my mom is March 2nd and my sister is December 2nd. So in my family, it's, it's a lot of twos, whether it be 12s, 22s, or seconds. Just gonna switch back to the grass green. I think I'm gonna throw a little bit more of that in here. Just kind of darker, I think. Just you and the boo or kiddos too? Hi, Kimmy. Oh, thank you. I hope you're having a good day, sweetheart.
Yes, this book is adorable. I am loving it. Like I was saying earlier, there is seriously not one page in this book that I don't adore. And then I, I think the line art helps too because I always love that thicker line art and especially when it has like a mixture. So like you get like around them is a lot thicker and then you get those little thin bits that's kind of in the details and stuff. I really like that. I think it makes it look super whimsical. Switching back to the grass green again for a minute here. And then back to the dark green. And grass green again. And then I will catch up on chat in just a second here. I seen your um your uh, post about your skin tones, Jody. You're doing amazing. Oh, Sabrina, that's exciting. I'm excited for you guys. Yeah, Beth, I'm going to have to look at a flip through on that one. I think I did a long time ago, maybe, but I can't quite remember. Honestly, I try to avoid flip throughs because they usually turn into me spending money. <laughs> I try to avoid that. <laughs> Hi, Neverkit. Oh, you're so welcome, Jody. I'm so proud of you. I love how you're just not afraid to go in there and try new things and practice. You inspire me. I hope you know that. Oh my goodness, what is that in Celsius? Oh, that's pretty warm. To be honest though, I wish it was that warm here. I'm not even sure what it is here. It's, yeah, it's, it's not very warm here. It's like maybe, maybe 12, 15 degrees Fahrenheit here maybe.
So for those of you that watch New Amsterdam, I'm not going to say any spoilers, but is anybody else extremely PO'd at how they left that off? I'm so mad. You know, it's it's one thing to, you know, end a show leaving some interest. But I hate when they do cliffhangers like that. So it's like now I'm going to have anxiety until they come back. I mean, I have anxiety anyways, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, for, for us here, it's actually not that bad. But for me, because I'm not a true Canadian, I actually am. But I say that all the time because I'm always cold. It's cold. <laughs> Rain would be like, oh, this is perfect weather. Let's go for a walk. And I'd be like in a heavy sweater and everybody would be looking at me like that lady's crazy. No, no spoilers. I will not post spoilers. I'm just saying, though, it's... I'm mad. I'm still mad. And I watched that right before bed, too, so I'm like, I could not sleep. Do I have any sleep after watching that? My mom's catching up, too, so I'm waiting for her to watch it, because I know she is immediately going to, like, call me and be like, what the F? Right song? It's kind of like the same with Riverdale, if anybody watches that. They did some shady foreshadowing, and I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad at that one, too. And I did say that I wasn't going to watch it, but I got kind of sucked back into it. Thanks, Kai. I'm quite liking it. I don't even know if I really need to go back over with pencils now. <laughs> Victoria. Me too, Charlotte. I always say that I like hardly ever watch TV, but then I have like 12 different series that I follow. But what I usually do is I don't watch them for a while and then they build up and then I just binge watch them. <laughs> Um, Riverdale's on Netflix, Kenny. I don't know if it shows anywhere else. Maybe Crave, but I... I I'm not 100% sure. Thanks, Lizette. And hi, hun. I don't think I said hi to you. If I did, then hi again.
Okay, so again, I'm just going to write these colors down. And then we'll continue. I guess that's not grass, that's a bush. What am I, what am I writing? With, I watched this show called Absentia. Absentia, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I think I didn't start it for like the last seven weeks, so there was like six or seven episodes that uh, were on my PVR. So I started watching them, and of course now I'm to the point where I can't just leave them, so I'm going to be watching them, like, the day that they come on, because now I'm just sucked into it. Aw, <laughs> uh, Art Life, there's ways around that, hun. Me too, Beth. My stepdad is, like, insanely into Archie comics. I, don't know, I was just bored one day, so I started watching it. I loved Sharp Objects. I wish they would do a second season. I'm not 100% sure either, Art Life, but if you get a hold of Becky, she might be able to help you. Uh, which one, Beth? Hi, El Shrock. Thank you. You didn't say anything. I said maybe if Art Life gets a hold of you, maybe you can help. Since you you don't have a thousand subs either and you stream, I don't know how you do it, so. Oh, Absentia. It's on... I want to say HBO, but I, th I think that's wrong. What is that on? I'll have to look. But yeah, I'll, I'll find out for you. Hun. I'll uh, screenshot that. Just so I remember. I know, they did an amazing job with that, Gia. But yeah, it's definitely, if you can't handle, like, that really mature subject matter, I definitely wouldn't watch it. Because it's definitely very graphic, that's for sure. Okay, Prime. Thanks, Gia. That is so cute, Cajun. My cat's trying to eat it. Oh, hi, Nick. Oh, did we have Tina earlier? I don't even know. I forgot to ask. I never know which one of you's it is. Okay, so for the sand, I definitely want kind of an orangey tone. So I'm going to grab the orangish yellow. Um, I'm going to grab the ochre and the russet. And we'll go with that. That, yeah. Okay, so we'll go with that, and hopefully I'll get the look that I'm kind of going for. Rain watched The Walking Dead. He didn't finish it, though. As soon as uh, his favorite character got killed off, he was done. He hasn't watched another episode since, I don't think. I 
don't know. I might do this whole page in meal colors now, aside from their skin. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to base. <laughs> you know, I was looking at these large circles thinking that they were, well, this one especially. Or no, sorry, this one especially, thinking it was a rock. But now I'm realizing that it's their big toes. <laughs> oh, this book is too cute. I love it. Okay, so this is the orangish yellow, and I'm just going to base the entire area of sand with this. Hey, Cassandra. I went out, I think it was last year actually, and spent $40 on the entire original series, which is really good. That was on sale, so I was super happy to be able to find it for that cheap because everywhere else wanted like anywhere from 80 to like even $120 for the whole series. And I still have not watched a single episode because I know that as soon as I start watching it, I will not be able to stop. And I just don't have the time to not stop. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to wait till winter hits again because then I'm usually not quite so busy. Next I'm going to switch to the ochre. I'm just going to kind of lay this out randomly. I'm not quite sure how I want to do this sand. I think I'm just going to put colors just wherever. I knew I bleh. I know I do want to keep kind of the line here where it meets the bush. I think I want to keep it fairly light there. I know it's going to be darker under their feet. Jody. Sorry if I've missed saying hi to anyone. Oh, Beth, you're not horrible. If this is your first day on the job. You're doing great. switch to the russet now. I think I'm going to be fairly sparse with this one. So I'm going to focus under their feet and kind of behind these mounds of sand. And then other than that, I'm just going to put in tiny little patches here and there. So 
switch back to the ochre here too. Bye, Katie. Thank you, hun. You have a great day or evening, wherever you are, too, sweets. <laughs> Beth, you need to stop being mad at yourself, girl. Ooh, what's Tina coloring in tonight, Nick? I'm so excited. I hope I'm going to be able to make it. I'm going to be mad if I can't. I will do my best to try and make sure that we're home. So it's a little bit harder to blend over on this side too, just because I kind of got to scribble the color on. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Becky. I meant I want to be there live. <laughs> But yes, I can always watch back if need be, but still, it's not the same. I don't like watching back. I want to be there. I used to use Spotify. I never subscribed to it, though. I just got the free version of it. But then I realized that with TELUS, they have their own thing. They've got the Stingray music. So I use that instead now because there's literally, like, no commercials. At least I don't think there is. Kind of dragging some of those colors into other areas, just wherever it seemed a little bit flat there. Hi, 
picky. Um, we're actually using the Neo Color 2s. Awesome, Nick. I'll definitely try to be there. Okay, and I'm not quite happy with how the sand is turning out, so I think I'm definitely going to add another layer to that. So I'll keep those pencils out, but it needs to dry first, so we'll go ahead and do the water. Hi, Mousy Deb. <laughs> yes, definitely eat, girl. Definitely helps that attitude, doesn't it? Okay, so for the water, I definitely want the jade green because that's like my favorite color. It's that in between blue and green. And then I think I'm going to grab the malachite green and the cobalt blue, and I'm just going to run with those three, and hopefully it turns out okay. So again, same as with the other ones, I'm going to start with the lightest color, which is the jade green, and I'm just going to base the water with this. Cobalt blue is the next color. Isn't it, Beth? I can't decide if I like the bush or the sky better. I think they both turned out really awesome. I'm quite happy with them. I'm going to come in with the cobalt blue now. And I think... I don't really know what I'm doing, actually. I was going to say, I think I'm going to stick with the patterns, but I don't think I'm going to, actually. I think I'm just going to throw this in randomly. And then I'm going to come in with the malachite green, and I'm going to mostly focus this kind of over top of that blue. And again, I'm just going to throw this in kind of randomly as well. No idea what I'm doing, to be honest. I might have just messed this up, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it there. And let's see what we can do. I'm going to start on this side because this side honestly sucks. Just because of the spine. There we go. I'm going to try to blend these colors together the best that I can.
think this is turning out decent. I'm not hating it, so that's something. <laughs> Because it's teasing you, Becky. That's how it always goes. It's the same with sales. Everything goes on sale when you don't have money, but as soon as you have money, nothing's on sale. Okay, there's our water. I do want to put in some more of the jade green though, so I'm just going to use this method to throw it in there. And the paper is still wet, so I'm just being very careful. Definitely want that green to be prominent. There we go. I'm liking that a little bit better. And then the sand should be drying up too. Just trying to figure out what color I want to add into that though. Thinking more ochre. Hopefully we're not buffering too bad, it just showed up on my, my end. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of dot this in. I need to get like a little bit of a sandy kind of look to it.
camera is picking up the difference that this is making, but it's definitely noticeable. It's just adding a little bit of extra texture. Hi Vicky, welcome back. So we're just gonna finish up the sand and then I'm gonna call it a stream. I gotta go get my little one. If any of you have been wondering why it's so quiet in the house, it's because he had a sleepover at his grandma's last night. So Way too much water. His sunburn is much better now. Way too much. We'll do what we can with this. Hi, Michelle. There we go. Let's see if I can bring this up closer. Maybe it will. So you can kind of see it. This it just looks a little bit more speckled and more textured, like you would expect sand to look like. I'm not sure I'm completely done with it yet. I might come back in with the what color is this? The russet. Yeah, the russet to make it a little bit more noticeable. But that's what we've got. Zoom out so we can see the entire thing. Yeah, he definitely did not like it, that's for sure. But on the plus side, he doesn't freak out every time we put sunscreen on him now. So <laughs> there at least was one plus to it. Thanks everyone. Ouch. Yeah, that's a lot, Becky. <laughs> oh, I hope you feel better, Kenny. And I don't know, I'm undecided. I might still come in with some Prismas in some areas. I think I'm going to leave that bush alone, though, because I think that's definitely my favorite. The bush and the sky, I'm going to leave those. I'll maybe shade a little bit behind the leaves in the sky, but I think other than that, I'm going to leave those too. Maybe I'll leave the water too. I'm not sure, but definitely I'm not going to use Neo Colors for all the tiny details. So we'll definitely be using some Prisma Color in here as well. One other good thing about not touching the bush though is with the Prisma Color and maybe even some fine liners, we can kind of do some cool effects with their skirts and stuff. So, which I'm undecided on whether I want to do like hay skirts or grass skirts. Maybe you guys will have to help me with that next time, but. This is where I'm going to end it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and thanks for hanging out with me.
<laughs> Thank you. So I will hopefully see you guys over at Nick and Tina's. Um, Nick, if I don't make it, I'll definitely watch the playback and leave you guys a big thumbs up, but hopefully I will be there. Um, and I should be back again on Wednesday as long as my foot feels up to it. <laughs> we will have to see. <laughs> okay, everybody. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.